So here's one of the tires that I just removed. And I decided to make a video about this instead of just a quick short. Um, this tire is date coded um, 1120. That means it was manufactured in the 11th week of 2020. Now, when I'm transporting for a customer and they bought the boat online and you know they probably got a survey so they could get it financed nine times out of ten nobody's ever really looked at the trailer even brand new trailers with brand new tires as you can see this one's only a year old or a little about a year and a half old but <clears throat> it's having what's called a separation issue now i can feel this when i'm driving and that's how i know i'm having issues as you can see this outer band is completely wore down and yet the inner here and the midsection band is fine and if you get down deep into it you can see the cracks right where the tread is beginning to separate now again this tire is only a little over a year old and yet we're having issues with it so it's better to get them replaced get new tires put on I put two new on the, the front axle. Um, this is not an alignment issue. I know a lot of people will say, oh, it's out of alignment. If that was the case, my rear tires would also be getting scrubbed quite a bit because if the front axle is out of alignment, then the rear axle would be out of alignment too, and it'd be causing one or the other to scrub. Due to the fact that it's not that, and I've had these aligned um, painstakingly by you know myself, one of the ways you can check alignment with a trailer loaded is go get an eight foot fluorescent light bulb an eight foot fluorescent light bulb lay it against the sidewall front to back and then put that against the other tires and you'll see a fluorescent tube will show you how out of out of alignment your wheels are or your hubs or the axles would be it's the easiest way to tell if your trailer's been, this trailer's been painstakingly set up so that these axles are in absolute perfect alignment straight um, one tire follows the other um, and I know that because I actually had to modify this rear axle in the center tweak it a little bit to get the right perfect alignment then we welded it all down made sure it was bolted and it's been fine um, what we found is that we had a couple issues with these Carlisle tires that were made in 2018 it's kind of funny that that 2020 has had an issue but still these are the best tires in the world to, to haul with um i've tried the good years they're junk um at the consumer level level the goodyear professional the g114s the 17s the 17 and a halves they're they're real heavy duty g-rated tires those are badass but they're very costly and they take quite a few miles to heat cycle when i say heat cycle they have to have up to at least a thousand miles on those tires before they stop getting squishy because it takes a long time for the rubber to take its cure um i hauled a boat from florida with a brand new set of those and it was about an eighteen thousand pound load and it took a long time for those tires to start settling in now when i say a long time i took that boat from florida to south carolina and then went from south carolina almost to texas before those tires would ever settle down and i could take that boat over 65 miles an hour um but they're gonna wrap it up here so i'm gonna wrap up this video this is the discount tire in florence south carolina this is the best discount tire in the entire nation that i've ever visited these guys are amazing the management crew is and uh, is is unreal um chad and tanner and, and the rest of the guys here they are just absolutely exceptional uh anyway Thanks for giving me a couple minutes for this video. I was trying to keep it under five minutes just to keep you guys informed um, about differences in tires and whether or not they're brand new or not doesn't ever really matter um, because a lot of times, you know, like you see here, it's a brand new tire. It's less than a year old or it's just over a year old. Um, but yeah, and you'll see, uh, it, it, it just makes no difference whatsoever. When you start seeing it, you always inspect your gear and you always replace them in pairs. Anyway, this is David Wilkes. God bless you all for following my channel, and God bless America.